Every day in the NBA there is a lot to unpack, so every weekday morning throughout the season we will give you the three things you need to know from the last 24 hours in the NBA, which is longer than I suspect Ivanka Trump's punk phase lasted. One Eric Bledsoe now has all the time he wants to go to a hair salon son send him home, put him on the trade block. On Sunday, Suns point guard Eric Bledsoe tweeted this. A day after the Suns fired coach Earl Watson, Bledsoe got called into the principal's office was called into the office of GM Ryan McDonough to explain the tweet and if he wanted to be part of the rebuilding effort in Phoenix. The answer was obviously no, but Bledsoe said the tweet was about being at a hair salon with his girlfriend. McDonough wasn't buying that nor should he and called Bledsoe out for it publicly. McDonough sent Bledsoe home from the team and started actively looking for a trade. The problem for McDonough and the Suns is they aren't going to get much, they have no leverage, and not many teams are looking for a point guard right now. The market is pretty dry. We know that the Knicks, Bucks, and Nuggets reached out. On paper, Denver makes the most sense. They can throw Emmanuel Moutier and other salaries such as Kenneth Fareed to make it work. The Cavaliers and Clippers get mentioned by fans, but neither has the pieces to pull off a deal. Other teams could be lurking Orlando has come up, my man Steve Kyler speculated New Orleans would work and with the price so low some team could snag him on the cheap. One way or another, expect Bledsoe to get moved relatively soon. Despite all the drama, the Suns picked up their first win of the season Monday knocking off the Kings 117-115.